On December 5th, SpaceX quietly unveiled something extraordinary that caught even NASA's attention. A revolutionary water deluge system on their drone ship during a Falcon 9 landing. For over a decade, we've watched these magnificent rockets touch down on floating platforms in the middle of the ocean. But this time was different. As the Falcon 9 descended through the night sky, streams of water began cascading across the drone ship's deck, marking a significant evolution in SpaceX's landing technology. This wasn't just any landing, it was the 100th successful touchdown on the Just Read the Instructions drone ship. The timing couldn't have been more perfect for SpaceX to showcase this innovative advancement. The question that has everyone buzzing, why introduce this water system now after more than 300 successful landings? And more intriguingly, how does this compare to the massive deluge system we've seen protecting Starship's orbital launch mount? From the scorching heat of rocket engines to the preservation of vital landing infrastructure, this development represents another brilliant engineering solution from SpaceX. Today, we'll uncover the fascinating details behind this unexpected upgrade, explore its implications for future launches, and understand why this seemingly simple addition might be more revolutionary than it appears. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. To understand why this water deluge system is so revolutionary, we need to grasp the sheer power these rockets command. When a Falcon 9 lifts off, it unleashes more than 1.7 million pounds of raw thrust, enough force to lift 40 fully loaded Boeing 747 simultaneously. In the control room, engineers watch with bated breath as each launch pushes the boundaries of what's possible. But even this incredible power pales in comparison to SpaceX's latest marvel, Starship, generating an astounding 16.5 million pounds of thrust, twice the power of NASA's mighty SLS. The true magnitude of these forces became dramatically apparent during Starship's maiden flight last April. As the massive rocket ignited its engines, the raw energy unleashed was beyond anything previously seen at Starbase. The launch pad transformed into a maelstrom of fire and force, carving a crater beneath the orbital launch mount and sending rocks and debris flying across the facility. SpaceX engineers watching from their monitoring stations knew immediately they needed a solution that would protect their infrastructure while maintaining their ambitious launch schedule. The answer came in the form of an innovative water deluge system for Starship's subsequent launches. The system performed flawlessly, taming the enormous energy released during liftoff. But SpaceX's engineering team wasn't satisfied with just solving one problem. They saw an opportunity to apply this technology in a completely new way. A veteran SpaceX engineer, speaking on condition of anonymity, revealed that after more than 300 Falcon 9 landings, they began noticing concerning patterns of wear on their drone ship's decks. Each landing, while appearing graceful from a distance, subjects these floating platforms to extreme conditions that few human-made structures ever experience. The repetitive exposure to intense heat, acoustic energy, and vibrations was slowly taking its toll on these crucial pieces of infrastructure. The development of the drone ship water deluge system wasn't just an engineering challenge, it was a race against time. With SpaceX's launch frequency increasing and their ambitious goals for both Starship and Falcon 9, they needed a solution that would extend the lifespan of their recovery platforms without compromising their operational tempo. The system they designed serves multiple critical functions, each more impressive than the last. First, it acts as an acoustic dampener, absorbing sound waves that can reach up to 180 decibels, a level so intense it can literally tear metal apart. To put this in perspective, that's like standing next to 100 jet engines at full throttle, or being at ground zero of a sonic boom. The water creates a protective barrier that dissipates these potentially destructive sound waves, protecting both the rocket and the drone ship. But the acoustic protection is just the beginning. During a landing burn, the Merlin engines still generate temperatures exceeding 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,093 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt aluminum and weaken steel. The water deluge system creates a protective thermal barrier, instantly vaporizing upon contact with the intense heat and carrying away enormous amounts of energy in the process. SpaceX engineers have calculated 
that this innovation could potentially double the maintenance intervals for their drone ship fleet, representing millions in saved costs and increased operational efficiency. The implementation of this system sparked an intense debate among aerospace engineers worldwide. Some argued for the use of seawater, citing its unlimited availability and the practical advantages of not having to carry additional water supplies. Others pointed to potential corrosion concerns, particularly given the sophisticated electronics and sensitive equipment aboard the drone ships. However, SpaceX's material science team had already anticipated these challenges. Their choice of specialized stainless steel alloys in the Merlin engine bells and other critical components was no accident. These materials were specifically selected for their resistance to saltwater corrosion. This foresight proved crucial during a particularly dramatic landing attempt in rough seas, where waves repeatedly crashed over the drone ship's deck. The booster landed successfully, demonstrating that SpaceX's systems were already designed to handle saltwater exposure. This experience helped inform the development of the water deluge system, allowing engineers to focus on optimizing water distribution patterns rather than worrying about corrosion protection. The timing of this innovation coincided perfectly with a historic milestone, the 100th successful landing on the Just Read the Instructions drone ship. This achievement came during a critical mission carrying the SXM-9 satellite for Sirius XM satellite radio showcasing the 19th flight of its booster, inching closer to SpaceX's remarkable record of 24 flights for a single booster. Each successful landing brings new data, helping engineers refine and improve the water deluge system. SpaceX's drone ship fleet has become legendary in the spaceflight community. Of course I still love you, just read the instructions, and a shortfall of Gravitas have collectively hosted an astounding 380 successful recoveries. Each vessel has its own dramatic history. Just read the instructions faced near disaster during its first deployment in 2016 when a landing leg failure caused a booster to tip over and explode. The incident could have ended the ship's career before it began, but SpaceX's engineering team worked tirelessly to repair and improve the vessel. Their determination paid off. The ship returned to service stronger than ever, eventually becoming a cornerstone of their recovery operations. The story of SpaceX's recovery technology mirrors humanity's journey in space exploration. Filled with challenges, setbacks, and triumphant breakthroughs, from the early days of the Falcon 1, when critics claimed landing and reusing rockets was impossible, to the ambitious plans for Starship, each innovation builds upon hard-won lessons. The transition from carbon fiber to stainless steel in Starship's design wasn't just an engineering decision, it represented a fundamental shift in thinking about spacecraft construction. The development of reusable heat shield tiles, drawing upon decades of space shuttle experience while incorporating modern material science, showed SpaceX's ability to learn from history while pushing boundaries. Recent Starship tests have demonstrated just how far SpaceX's innovation can reach. During Flight 5, the world watched in awe as they attempted the first ever catch of the Super Heavy Booster by the Mechazilla launch tower, a feat that seemed like science fiction just years ago. Although Flight 6 didn't attempt a catch due to tower issues, it achieved other crucial milestones, including successful engine reignition in space and a controlled splashdown, proving that even setbacks provide valuable data for future improvements. The water deluge system represents more than just a technical upgrade. It's a testament to SpaceX's relentless pursuit of innovation. By implementing this technology on their drone ships, they're not just protecting their infrastructure, they're redefining what's possible in rocket recovery. The system's success could influence spacecraft recovery methods across the entire aerospace industry, potentially becoming as revolutionary as the concept of landing rockets on floating platforms was just a decade ago. As SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what's possible in spaceflight, each innovation brings us closer to their ultimate goal making humanity a multi-planetary species. The water deluge system, while seemingly simple compared to some of their other achievements, demonstrates that sometimes the most elegant solutions can have the most significant impact. As we've seen, SpaceX's journey from their first Falcon 9 landing to this innovative water deluge system showcases their commitment to continuous evolution. This seemingly simple addition to their drone ships represents something much more significant. 
It's a testament to how SpaceX turns challenges into opportunities for innovation. While some might see deck erosion as a minor concern, SpaceX saw it as a chance to enhance their entire recovery system, potentially extending the lifespan of their drone ships and enabling even more frequent launches in the future. The success of this water deluge system not only protects SpaceX's valuable infrastructure, but also sets new standards for the entire aerospace industry. Just as SpaceX revolutionized space travel by landing rockets on floating platforms, this innovation could inspire the next generation of recovery technologies. Looking ahead, one thing is clear. SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what's possible in spaceflight, one innovative solution at a time. From Falcon 9's precision landings to Starship's ambitious goals, each advancement brings us closer to making space more accessible and sustainable. If you've found this deep dive into SpaceX's latest innovation fascinating, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with fellow space enthusiasts. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on how this water deluge system might impact future space missions. Don't forget to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours for more exclusive insights into SpaceX's groundbreaking technologies and future developments. Hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. Remember, space exploration is a journey we're all taking together, and your support helps us continue bringing you the latest in space innovation. Just over 13 years ago, SpaceX launched their first Falcon 9 rocket into the skies above Earth. Today, this revolutionary vehicle has not only completed its 400th successful mission, it's completely transformed the economics of space travel. But SpaceX wasn't content with just hitting milestones. In a remarkable demonstration of their engineering prowess, they've just shattered another record with this same remarkable rocket achieving the fastest turnaround time between launches in spaceflight history. The numbers tell an extraordinary story. What once took weeks of preparation was accomplished in just 13 days and 12 hours, demolishing their previous record of 21 days. This isn't just about speed, it's about redefining what's possible in space exploration. While each Saturn V rocket launch in the Apollo era cost over $1.16 billion in today's dollars, the reusable Falcon 9 has brought that price tag down to just $67 million per launch. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in space technology and exploration. Let's dive right in. The story of the Falcon 9 begins not with triumph, but with skepticism and doubt. When Elon Musk first proposed the idea of landing and reusing orbital-class rockets, the space industry's veterans didn't just disagree, they laughed. Physics won't allow it, they said. The forces are too extreme. The cost of refurbishment will exceed any savings. These weren't just casual dismissals. They were the considered opinions of some of the world's most experienced aerospace engineers. But in a small warehouse in Hawthorne, California, a team of young engineers was about